hello everyone welcome to my channel welcome to class if you have been working or flowing with me for all of my classes thank you so much for being here again if this is your first time to be here welcome finding gratitude for the universe for <laughs> discovering me here let's go find ourselves here at the back of our mats grounded here your favorite or your easiest pose or seat Roll the shoulders down and back and let's settle into our practice. Feel free to close the eyes if you feel safe wherever you're practicing. And just allow yourself, all of yourself to be here in your present moment as you find yourself creating so much of a sacred space today. Be one with the body, be one with the heart, the mind, the breath. Create some intentions for today's practice, something that can guide you to the present moment or something that can guide you to where you want to be today. Relax the shoulders, soften the face, notice the hips gently ground down into your earth. Unclench the jaw, soften everything. Let's deeply connect. On your next inhale, hands and pray to the heart. Bow down. Namaste. On your next breath, hands will reach up high. Exhale, land hands towards the heart once more. Let's do that one more round. As you take an inhale, hands up. And then slowly swing it to the back. Arms behind the ears and you slowly bend the elbows to the sides. Open the heart, tug it forward, shoulder blades squeeze in together. Slowly swinging the arms forward, left arm on top, chin to chest, tuck the tailbone, cat in the back. One more round, open the heart, flow with movements here, and then slowly release, right arm on top, squeeze it in, one big hug as you curve the back. One last round, open the heart, inhale, and then slowly clasp your hands at the back, roll the shoulders down and back, and then slowly, maybe gaze up. One big breath, and then slowly fold down. Heart, belly to the thighs, forehead grounds down, knuckles to sky. Inhale here, notice the opening on the front of the shoulders. Big breath out, notice how you're feeling in the shape. Once you're ready, body still the same, release the hands. Left arm forward, right arm at the back. Next breath, ground onto the left hand and then slowly ripple forward. Gaze into the left thumb as you swing it forward and around and then slowly coming back, child's pose. So that one more round, inhale, gaze follows the right thumb, open up. Exhale, maybe bend at the elbow, swing it to the back. One more round, inhale, right hand up and around and then slowly we're gonna tug it towards a threading to the left side as deep as you want as far as you can right arm down option with your left hand to the front maybe to sky or maybe it can find a way to tug onto your inner right thigh peel that left shoulder heart opens maybe gaze up parallel onto each side of the hip here press into the tops of your feet come back center counter stretch and then slowly land back child's pose let's do this on the opposite side shall we right arm forward left arm at the back big breath here big breath out release inhale grace follows the left thumb bend the elbow if you want some more come back child's pose connect the movement with the breath one more round open the heart up and around and then slowly come back child's pose one last round let's go hand up and around and then slowly to the right thread it as deep as you want as far as you can land the hand front to the sky or right towards the left thigh roll the shoulders peel really the right hip to the back of the mat big breath here big breath out release let's go find your counter stretch hands up high and then slowly child's pose awesome take both of your hands forward this time plant on all of your hands knuckle pads finger pads roll the shoulders down and then slowly ripple forward as you take another breath tailbone tucks heart opens come back child's pose spinal wave here fluid option to close the eyes ripple forward inhale 
exhale let's go to the back notice how you can fluidly flow with the guidance of each and every vertebrae here working for you once you're ready one more round press on everything here with all of your hands suck the toes and knees hover one or two inches away from the ground curve the back shoulder blades wide into the side press on all of your hands firm the forearms in as you softly land on your exhale downward facing dog your first ad homo kashavanasana for today find movement or find stillness up to you side bodies open allow some stillness with all of your hands and your feet ground down with your prana heels up ripple forward to your strong plank maybe a planche if you want slowly notice how the core works here for you once you're ready bend the knees cow in the back and then slowly come back down dog one more round spinal wave ripple forward to your plank or maybe a plant shoulders farther than the wrist if you can lower belly in exhale bend the knees come back down dog one more round let's go maybe close the eyes if you want ripple forward to your plank firm the inner thighs drive into the balls of the feet land back downward facing dog one more round ripple forward towards your forward fold very nice heart opens inhale exhale uttanasana slowly come up roots arise hands reach up and overhead exhale hands and pray to the heart and to the side samastitihi maybe close the eyes for a few moments notice this feeling Open the eyes. Let's go. Utkatasana. Inhale. Open the heart. Exhale. Utsanasana. Fold down. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Exhale. Let's go to your down dog. Your play. Next inhale. Right foot forward. Left heel down. Rise. Virabhadrasana. One. Exhale. Plant the hands. Right leg extends. Chaturanga. Urdhva Adho Mukha Opposite side. Left foot forward. Right heel down. Rise. Warrior one. Release. Come back down. Step or lift. Chaturanga. Open up. Exhale. Fold down. Breathing in and breathing out here. Landing in your down dog. Heels up, bend the knees, step forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Utsanasana, exhale. Utkatasana, breathe in. Exhale, samastiti. One more round, let's go. Chair pose, breathing in. Exhale, fold down. Halfway lift, lead with the heart open. Exhale, your own play once more. Downward facing dog, we're all gonna meet. Let's go. Right foot forward, left heel down, rise, warrior one. Exhale, coming back to your downward facing dog. Opposite side, left foot forward, right heel down, rise, warrior one, strong. Exhale, release, come back, chaturanga. Up dog as you inhale, exhale as you gently find down dog breathing in and breathing out notice the warmth you're cultivating here heels up bend the knees step forward halfway lift arda exhale to release uttanasana halfway lift chair pose exhale samastiti one last round let's go utkatasana inhale Uttanasana, exhale. Halfway lift. Let's go play. Meeting you in your Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Warrior one to the right. Open up. Breathing in. Exhale. Land back down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog. Down dog. Left foot this time. With strength. Come up. Release. Ground back down. Chaturanga up dog 
downward facing dog take a breath again option to find stillness or keep moving see what feels good for the body create space for the experience heels up ripple forward bend the knees hover it good core is engaged press on all of your hands knuckle pads finger pads at the same time knees down take a seat take a breath close the eyes maybe one hand to heart another to the belly again bring space to the experience of the breath the warmth you're cultivating for yourself let's go back hands forward downward facing dog left leg up three-legged dog bend the knee hip joint mandala breathing in right heel up slowly swing it forward and knee to left tricep planche come back up hip joint mandala one more round knee towards the opposite tricep pressing in and then slowly come up one more round left knee towards the center step the foot down reverse your warrior lengthen the side body inhale slowly exhale grace forward Pajvakanasana. breathing in breathing out reverse triangle as you take a breath and then slowly triangle pose whether without the hands reach forward maybe gaze up right hand down left hand up revolve triangle pose breathing in breathing out step the left hand ardha chandrasana breathe in option to find chapasana here ground down into the right foot release standing split let's go find balance here breathe in breathe out bend both knees tap calf shiva squat one more lengthen exhale take a tap notice the core inhale to lengthen standing split exhale bend the knee take a tap one more round lengthen good exhale bend the knee take a tap and then let's go take your hands in prayer chair pose with one foot inhale can we go dancers pose your own version for today i think i'm wobbly let's see bend both knees come back chair pose inhale exhale fold down uttanasana halfway lift breathing in exhale let's meet downward facing dog your own play right leg up bend the knee let's go slowly take it to the right tricep curling in the back tiger curl one more round right leg up hip joint pandala open up slowly towards the opposite tricep here come up one more and then slowly to the center of the heart right foot steps forward reverse your warrior flow fluidly to the back breathing in breathing out grazing down in around Pashvakonasana to the front inhale and exhale rise reverse triangle breathing in breathing out to your triangle pose with or without your hands let's go left hand down right hand up revolve triangle pose breathe in long to release ardha chandrasana on your next breath left hand up maybe find your chapasana here up to you inhale deep exhale let's go and release coming back standing split on this side left leg up breathe in breathe out tap shiva squat lengthen inhale one more round tap it in exhale release one more tapping in notice the core lengthen as you inhale slowly come one legged chair pose very nice hands in prayer inhale can we swiftly move dancers pose very nice breathe in i am wobbly today for sure <laughs> release chair pose breathe in exhale surrender forward fold halfway lift let's go your own play meeting you in your downward facing dog very nice 
take a breath, land back, take your reset. Heels up, ripple forward to your plank. Maybe a planche right now, drive into the balls of the feet, coming back, downward facing dog. One more round, ripple forward, spinal wave. And then slowly bend the knees, come back, downward facing dog. Heels up, ripple forward. Bend the knees, a downward facing dog. Very nice. Left leg up, breathe in. Bend the knee, hip joint bandala. Let's go. Take it forward. Tap into the tricep or let's go. Ekapada kundinyasana to engage the core. Inhale here. Step back. Three legged dog, hip joint mandala. To the opposite side this time. Knee taps the opposite tricep or maybe find reverse plank. Extend the foot or take it down. Release. Hip joint mandala. And then slowly step the foot forward. Reverse your warrior. Whoo, inhale. Exhale, grazing forward, Pashpakonasana. Breathing in. Breathing out, reverse your triangle. Gaze the thumb up high to your sky. Triangle pose. Let's go with or without the hands. Breathing in. Right hand down, exhale. Revolved. Let's go step forward once more. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Take it to your Chapasana if we have it today. One more round. And then slowly revolve into your standing split. Inhale. Tap it in, Shiva squat. Lengthen as you inhale. Tap as you exhale. Strong core, lengthen, clench the glutes. Exhale, tap. One last round, lengthen. Exhale, take a tap. Let's go find your chair pose. Engaging in. And then slowly, dancer's pose. Find your wobble perfectly fine like what I'm doing. See what's good for you today. Release chair pose once you're good. And then fold down. Exhale it all out. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Again, your own play here. Meeting you in your downward facing dog. Very nice. Reset. And then let's go. Right leg up. Bend the knee, hip joint pandala. Again, tap your right tricep or let's go. Ekapada kundinyasana tsu. Your own version. See what feels good. Once you're ready, come back. Hip joint mandala. As fluidly as you can. Let's take it to the opposite side. Again, tap into the left tricep or let's go find plank extend the leg if we have it today swing it back three-legged dog hip joint pandala and then slowly take it forward step forward reverse your warrior very nice breathe in i am sweating hard grace forward pashvakanasana strong on the leg strong on the core reverse your triangle this is your rest and then slowly triangle pose maybe fly maybe not up to you next breath lands you to revolved triangle pose open up release ardha chandrasana once more you know the flow find your chapasana once you're ready let's land back standing split maybe a little bit more open at this point tapping in shiva squat release inhale one more round tap in strong at the core lengthen as you inhale bend the knee exhale one last time lengthen slowly bend the knee let's go chair pose hands in prayer to heart and then can we fly dancers pose i'm gonna be super wobbly on this side i'm so sure yep <laughs> Notice every single part of your body as you honor each pose. Chair pose, breathe in. Exhale, fold down. Halfway lift, take it through. Your play, one more time. Down dog. 
once you're ready. One big inhale through the nose, one big exhale out through the nose. Heels up, slowly hover the knees here, one or two inches away. Press on all of your hands and then at the same time knees down, let's go back and take a seat and then slowly notice how you breathe. Again, coming back to the warmth that you have cultivated in all of your body right now. Come back to the intentions that you have set up for today's practice. Maybe a little bit of a rest on your wrist. Take out the tops of your hands to the sides of the knees and bow down as if you are in your child's pose. Big breaths. And then come back to your center. Tuck it in, downward facing dog. Left leg up, breathe in. Bend the knee, hip joint mandala. Slowly swing it forward. One more round. Eka pada kundinyasana two. Breathing in, stepping back. Three legged dog. Bending in, let's go find a wild thing. Heart opens. Inhale. Sway for the exhale. And then slowly release with control as slow as you can. We're going to step the left foot forward, coming into your Anjanyasana. Open up the heart. Take your hips forward and down. Notice how you can lengthen more on the spine here so you can press your hips really, really deep. Opening your right hip flexors. Maybe arms can come behind the ears. And then slowly, let's release. Ardha Anumanasana, half split. Option to find your full split here if you still need it. Release. Come back, sensor. Hands up high. Open up. Lengthen even more. Clasp the hands at the back. Open the heart. This is an option. Maybe knuckles pressing onto the ground. And then slowly, with or without the hands, we're going to go and find your skandhasana here in front. Maybe gaze will follow the foot at the back. Elbows against the knees. Breathing in, lengthen, and then slowly, let's go find Prasarita Padottanasana, your own version. If you have an option for your headstand, if you have it today, feel free. Find your own play here. Begin to release. Once you're through, coming back to your prasarita. Open the heart first. And then slowly come back, low lunge. Left leg up high. And then slowly, downward facing dog. Reset. Right leg, breathe in. Bend the knee, hip joint mandala. Let's go for more. Eka pada kundinyasana two on this side. And then slowly step up. Let's go hip joint mandala. Stepping into your wild thing on this side. Kamakarasana. Heart opens. Heart opens. Heart opens. Release once you're through with control. Stepping that foot forward. Coming into your Anjanyasana here. Hips forward and back. Arms up and open. Breathing in, breathing out. Take your hands at the back, clasping in if that's an option today. Release once you're through Ardhanu Manasana to counter stretch. Flex the pinky to the face. Release, come back up. And then slowly, can we try? Skandasana here to the front with or without the hands. Let's go Prasarita Padottanasana again. Stay here, or if you have your headstand, practice another space for play.
Once you're ready, come back, braserita. Come back, low lunge in front. Right leg up high, inhale. And then slowly ground back down, downward facing dog. Heels up, bend the knees, last one, hop forward, malasana yoga squat. Elbows against the knees, close the eyes, reach the heart to the thumbs. Maybe right hand extends to the ground, left hand reaches sky, or maybe take a bind here with your hands at the back. Release once you're through, take it to the opposite side. Come back center. Reach your hands forward and then slowly find Navasana, boat pose. Core engage, find your sit bones and your tailbone. Firm the inner thighs, pointer flex the feet up to you, soften the face, relax the shoulders, and then slowly go to a seat, clasp your hands at the back, open the heart, take your hands towards the right hip, right ear to the right shoulder, open the left side neck, come back to the breath, maybe gaze down to the shoulder and then take it to the sky, another opening or just go nod forward and back. Release, opposite side, clasp hands on your left hip, left ear to the left shoulder. Option to stay here, or if you want some more, chin down to the left shoulder and take it to the sky. Or you can just go and nod forward and back. Release, come back center, extend both of your feet forward. Point flex or point up to you. Hands up high. Inhale. Exhale. Fold down. Paschimottanasana. Hands wherever it wants to land. If you're flexing with me today, imagine your pinkies wants to press your collarbones. Release once you're through. Take it to the back, reverse plank. Purvatanasana, tuck the tailbone and lift your hips up. Gaze up. And then slowly, once you're ready, come back. Very nice. Bending a right knee. Janusrasasana, hands up. And then slowly fold wherever you want to land. I'm folding here at the center of my legs. Feel free to fold on your left knee or take a twist. Come back center. Right hand down, lift up, stargazer. And then slowly drop back, center. Step the right foot, Marashiyasana. Give yourself a good twist. Find the deepest if you need more. Release. Let's do everything on the opposite side, shall we? Windshield wipers first, neutralize the spine. Notice how you can massage the side glutes. Cool down the breath again. Right leg extends, left foot to the inner right thigh. Jano Sarasasana, your own play. Lengthening and just dropping down, allowing all of your upper body to feel heavy here. Flex the foot towards the back of the mat. Breathe in long. 
and breathe out hard again almost always through the nose come back center let's go find stargazer left hand to the back hands up high clench the glutes and press it forward breathe in long and slowly release come back center plant the left foot let's go find marashayasana on this side again the deepest twist that you want or just go to the place that you can just feel good doesn't have to be so much here we're done with the advanced part this is your space to cool down Release. Once you're through, again, plant the feet, windshield wipers left and right. Once you're ready, let's fold down, curve the back, low back, mid back, upper back, head all the way down here. Bend both knees, extend both feet. Options to stay here. Let's go find Halasana toes overhead here take your hands on your middle back or your lower back option to clasp them in firm all of your arms good at the midline chin to chest maybe gaze at the belly button or close the eyes extend the legs or maybe bend point them or flex up to you remember to press from the shoulders rather than the back of the neck once you're ready, bend both knees and then one by one, if we can, option to find your shoulder stand. Take your hands really, really good as support here on your back. Firm the inner thighs, gaze at the thumbs of the foot. Breathing in, one by one, exhale, take it down. With control, slowly fold down. Step to feet, hands onto the side, windshield wipers. Give yourself one last pose. Let's go find your happy baby. Close the eyes and gently just come back to the breath. Give yourself one big squeeze and let's take it to a quick savasana here. Take both of your feet super, super wide. Turn out the feet here, inner thighs, inner calves, inner ankles pointing to your sky. A few wiggles on your shoulders, on your hips. Releasing anything that we don't need in our practice, in our life as we move beyond. Releasing all of your head, all of your upper body, all of your hips, your legs up to the tippy toes. And just finding gratitude for yourself today for being here you have an option to stay longer in your savasana if you want some more here feel free to pause and just go on if you're here with me just softly notice yourself coming back and finding awareness in the presence in your room and finding awareness in all of your senses once more Notice every single part of your body waking up, maybe extending both of your hands and feet. Give yourself one big lengthening. And then slowly, eyes still closed, just coming back to a seat here at the center of your mat. Again, maybe going back to your savasana if you need that longer or if you're here with me. Let's go and take a moment to just find gratitude in our space gratitude for your amazing body for showing up thank you so much everyone namaste see you on my next video thank you for today